In this lesson, we are going to go step-by-step step through the process of building out a high-level, low-level structure within Monday.com. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Step number one, you need to figure out what your naming convention is. What are you going to call your boards? It should be very clear what is a high level board and what is a low level board. I normally call the high level board overview or overall because it simply is really clear and describes the purpose of the board. Step number two, once you have figured out what you want to name your boards, create a high level board and name it properly. I will call this one overview. Step number three, create a low level board and name it properly. I will call this one project number one. Pro tip, many times this structure has a number of low level boards. Even if that is the case, I would recommend building one low level board and only when it is 100% completed, duplicate it for all your low level boards. If not, let's say you're making 20 low level boards and then you decide to add more columns to the board, you'll have to do that on 20 different boards. Step number four, go back to your high level board and add a new column that is called connected board column. Step number five, make sure you click two-way sync so that way the information will show up on both boards. In most cases, I recommend doing a two-way sync. Again, so you can see the information on both boards. Step number six, you can add a mirror column now if this is relevant. You can always add it later as well. Step number seven, if you go to your low level board, you will notice that a new column was added there, connecting to your high level board. Step number eight. Now, all you need to do is choose which items you wanna connect, and both boards are connected. Simply click on the items checkbox and connect them. Step number nine. If you did not add a mirror column before, you can go to the column settings, and you can click on Customize Connect Boards and then click on Add Mirror Column. Then you can customize this column for any other columns that you want. In this setup of a high-level structure, you can see that this project overview pulls in a number of columns from the lower-level boards. Here we have a total of statuses from the lower-level boards and a total of all the progress on all items. Pro tip. If you ever want to check out which board a column is connected to, you can always click in the little I in each column and it shows you which board you are connected to. That's it. Setting up this structure is straightforward if you just copy the steps that we just spoke about. So good luck with your setup. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.